my name is Adrian King. I work at Discovery Middle School. I teach eighth grade math. I do the algebra here and the math lab. I was working through um, compound inequalities with my students and it was the first time they have seen compound inequalities. We did an approach where they were hands-on, they were moving around. So for my kinetic students, my students who are very visual, um, they were able to put that up on the board, they were able to work through the problems and work backwards so that they could have more of a discovery investigation type of approach. The students were given index cards to begin with and it had one inequality on it that they had already been able to work through. And they worked in their groups because sometimes it's daunting when you have to work by yourself. And so they worked through the problems they already knew how to do. They were to graph those. And then we took their prior knowledge and mixed it together with um, the new concept that we were going through and learning that day. I wanted my students to feel confident in what they were doing as well as be able to have that aha moment. And I saw that in a lot of my students. So students were asked to use paper plates and for the visual student, you know, it was really nice because you had your open circle. So I took two different colored plates and I cut the middle out of one of them and that represented the open circle. And then I left the other plate whole. And this showed that it was including the value if it was a closed circle, which means it was equal to, or an open circle if it was not including it, it was not equal to. It was easy for them to understand because it was something they had done before, but not necessarily using the plates. The approach that I used is the gradual release of responsibility. It's nice because they can walk through the process with me. They say, hey, what are we doing? I can pull out the key things. And then they were able to take ownership of it themselves and run with it. They were able to grab a problem by number two and say, oh, let me set it up this way. Let me work through it. Let me try it. And they could work with their partners. And then the last problem that we did, they had to do on their own independently and they were running through it. They were like, oh, I get this, I get this. So I love that approach because the students can get that, they can build that gradual confidence and then it's like, oh, I can do this, I can do this. And just being able to build confidence is my biggest role as the math teacher.